Bright young minds changing the face of rehabilitation engineering. Losing a limb due to disease or injury could have a devastating effect, made worse by the high cost of prosthetics. But Farida Kaji hopes that her invention will change that. I decided how can I better prosthetics. I estimated a price for below the elbow prosthetics at 140,000 rand. So I wanted to cut the cost drastically. And then I decided to use a new technology called neurofeedback technology. Basically what happens is you just concentrate and a movement can be carried out using that technology. Her invention uses simple products found in our homes. So this is an electroencephalogram or EEG for short. And what this does is it has like it really picks up what you're thinking and what part of your brain is active at the moment. The hand was 3D printed using recycled Coke bottles or water bottles, things like that. And then it was fed into a protocycler to get the 3D printing ink. And that was used to print this hand by a normal 3D printer. This innovation is something that could help South Africa in many years to come. Polymer based uh, 3D printing is a lot cheaper than uh, metal additive manufacturing and I think polymer based um, additive manufacturing will always be used in especially in South Africa in developing countries because it is a, a cost-effective way to manufacture models for rapid prototyping or for uh, client specific needs and anything in that case. Ideas such as these brings hope for amputees like 43 year old Timothy Munye. His leg was amputated 23 years ago and he struggles to get around with a standard prosthetic. I sometimes have a problem whenever I have to change because of uh, prosthesis after a certain period are getting old or need to be repaired. For an example, if I'm getting bigger, it, it, it's as if the socket is getting smaller. And so then to change that, it, it has to take a long time. With her simple thought to help others, Farida has made huge strides in changing the face of prosthetics. Molebo Hengayane, SABC News, Northwest. All right, it's a wrap of your news bulletin. Thank you so much for staying with us. Tom Tituzi has the latest weather update for us. Do.